it's Krista from Covering the Bases and welcome to my Canada Goose Shelbourne Parka review. That is a mouthful. I recently got this jacket, actually I kind of got it a couple months ago before it really got cold, but I thought since it's like really cold now, I would share my review of this jacket. I shared a blog post yesterday and I will link it down below for you guys to see what it looks like on. But this is the Canada Goose Shelbourne parka in the color slate. The Shelbourne is the like layered quilt look of the Canada Goose line. This is a size medium. I have lived in some pretty cold temperature climates. I grew up in Chicago and I'm in New York and you don't really know cold until like you have to walk in it and so when I got to New York I just realized like no jacket that I had was just really cutting it. So I spent the first two years here wearing my North Face and while it was great it just wasn't warm enough and so you know, I was like you know what like I've heard a lot of really great reviews about the Canada Goose line and I really thought I would try it out. So let me walk you through it first and then I'll talk about all the different specs of it all. Once again this is the size medium. I think it's true to size. I usually wear a 6 or medium in clothing and I decided to go with the medium. It is long. It comes like probably right about to the top of my knees and it fits really nicely. Obviously I'm wearing a sweater with it. I can wear probably another layer underneath it just because it's kind of roomy. And I'm guessing all of the Canada Goose line has this almost like a little layer underneath so that it's like tied again along your wrist so the wind doesn't shoot up it which is really nice so when I'm wearing gloves I put the gloves over this part and there's just no air coming in or out. And so it's connected in here and when I get cold if I don't have gloves I just kind of do this. Then we have a button closure on this side and so if you want to make it tighter you can do that as well. On the inside we have a pocket right here that just zips. This is another pocket that doesn't zip, that's just open. And you can put whatever in there. It's just like any regular good jacket, it has a complete full zip all the way up to the very top and button closure. The zipper itself is two zippers so you can zip it all the way up and if you get a little hot you can zip it down. The side pockets have a two button closure just like this and open and then the inside is kind of like a, almost like a fleecy material and it's super warm and the pockets are really big. Most of the times I always forget to bring around my gloves so I just, with the extra little layer on the sleeve in these pockets, I can just stick them right in there and totally be warm. Oh, the back, this is really fun. So the back, there's like this like almost flap, I call it a little butt flap, that I guess when you get overheated you can just unsnap it and just kind of let it air up. I thought it was kind of fun and it actually does kind of cool you down when you're a little warm. On the inside, one of my favorite things, these like almost backpack straps. And so if you're like getting too hot and you don't want to carry your jacket around, you just put it on like this and hands free. Um, I don't know why they have it, but I kind of love it. It's just really fun. And then we get to the hood. So this might be a little controversial for people, but I thought it would be silly to show a jacket without all of the things that come with it. So this is a fur hood and I don't really support that. Um, I know a lot of my readers don't support that and it was really hard to come to terms with buying it. But I researched it a lot. So if you go to Canada Goose website under their frequently asked questions, they do talk about um, their use of fur and not only why they use it but how they use it and it's responsible. So just like a spark nose version, um, we strongly support the ethical and responsible sustainable use of fur. We only purchase from certified Canadian trappers. They are strictly regulated by the wildlife departments in Canada. They never purchase from fur farms, never use fur from danger animals, and only purchase fur from certified Canadian trappers. So what I decided to do is I actually wear this jacket without the fur on it. And so the reason I got the Shelburne parka other than the fit is that this actually zips off. So I wanted to show this with, to you guys. That's why it's on right now. But you can see even in my blog post the um, fur from the jacket is not on it. Not that it really makes it any better because I still bought it but I like to think it's a little better because I'm not constantly wearing it. This is the hood in all its glory. You can make it a little tighter and pull this back by tightening this strand right here. And what I love about this hood is that, as you can see, it like will really, really cover all your face. And when I put the hood up, I mean, it'll protect me from rain, from wind. It'll really, <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's all buttoned up. <laughs> and you can tighten the sides of it right here so it can just really squeeze on in. 
but we won't do that. And even when you have it down, you can still kind of wear it up to where it still kind of protects your face from the wind. I got the Shelburne parka because it's more of like a fitted look. Um, they, it's like slim fit, but I don't really see it as like totally slim fit. It's just not as bulky, uh, a little bit more feminine. So my overall thoughts of the jacket are really good ones, positive ones. I don't think I found anything that I don't like about it. Every little feature is really well thought out, really well tested. I've worn it probably every single day since I got it, even when it's like a little warm. Uh, what's great about the parka is that it, while it does keep you really warm, it doesn't ever overheat you. So I can wear it, like I'm wearing it right now and I'm fine. I feel like it keeps you at the temperature where your body is like happy and comfortable and it just like keeps you there no matter what the outside temperature is. Of Obviously, of course, if you're wearing it like 70 degree weather, like you're gonna get a little hot. But I can wear this indoors like in movies and I'm totally fine. And so while it is super expensive, I, really recommend it because oh hi Dixie have you just been back there all the time I really recommend it because it is the warmest jacket I have ever owned and I have never once been like oh I need a warmer jacket with my like warm weather essentials like my boots and my earmuffs the only part of me that's still left cold is where the jacket stops to where the boot begins so it's like from my like knees to like midway through my shin it's like that's the only part that's cold and really like in the grand scheme of things that is okay with me because everywhere else is warm they have a ton of other colors and styles that I haven't yet tried on because I bought this online through Tucker Nut. so I can't speak to how the other ones fit um, I know my other friends have a couple different styles and they all love them and I'll leave a lot of links down below to one to my blog posts and to where you can buy a Canada Goose jacket for yourself if you're looking for maybe to get one discounted I would look on eBay or a resale shop but I do really like the brand and I support what they're doing and I'm just grateful that they're keeping me warm this winter and I hope they can do the same for you so if you guys are looking for a cute comfortable really warm jacket this is where you guys should start. So thank you guys so much for watching my channel and be sure to subscribe if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys being respectful of my views and I'll be respectful of yours as well. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye. Strictly regulated by the provincial? Provincial. Provincial? Probably just tell your readers to go on the website to see. I don't think you have to read it.